I'm really sorry that when I was troubled, I did a wrong thing that took away two years of your life. And if I have to pay for what I've done, I will handle that. But I've been through too much in the past few years to be afraid of the Atlantic City police or of you. Now, my sister has thrown you out of the business, and now I'm telling you, you are through harassing our family. I was coming over here to warn you guys about firing him, but I guess I'm too late. Did you call the cops yet? No, not yet. He just had to stop by here and give us a shakedown first. Yeah, but we didn't go for it. Bring it on. Oh, uh, so now you got me and her and, well, I guess both. We can't just fly up against it. How was you? I don't look for my fire. What in the world do you have to be embarrassed about? Going around for over a year acting like... I wasn't even acting. I actually started to believe it. And it must have been incredibly lonely for you. I got used to it. But, you know what's great? It actually started getting to me and stuff started going better for me. What kind of stuff? God. Marco. <laughs> yeah. And what made it more difficult? Well, he found out that my parents were never there, and he kept saying how bad that was, and how I deserved better, and he was worried about you. I know, and I was telling him this huge lie. I'm sure he understands. I don't know. He was here this morning. He was? Mm -hmm. You didn't tell him the whole story. Of course not. I did tell him you we weren't going to school, and that you'd be in touch with him later. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, th there are some people um, who shall remain nameless who would call what I'm doing interfering. Not me. I just can't believe Mrs. McBain would do something like this. I mean, I I maybe I would expect Dad to do something crazy like that, like run away with a kid, but Mrs. McBain? Well, like I said, she's desperate. Well, I mean, is there anything we could do for Dad or for Tom? I think all we can really do is just support your dad. You know, he's got to be tortured losing his son again like that. And then, you know, he played by the rules this time. I think that's what really gets him. He played by the rules with backfire. It's got to make him crazy. Do you think Tommy's going to be okay? I don't think Marcy would intentionally hurt the baby. But what she's doing is dangerous, Star. Let's just hope that she keeps a clear enough head to make sure Tommy's safe. You didn't tell Mike? You said you were going to. Marcy, you're still my baby sister, and I love you. And I know what would happen if the cops were not here. Yeah. They'd hand your nephew over to Tom Manny. Marcy. It's gonna happen eventually, no matter what you do. No. No, it's not. Not if I am smart about it. Well, listen, Dad called me strongly, by the way, okay? Before you got up, and he's worried sick about you, and so is Jerry and Eric. Now, look, if, if you go back, maybe there's a chance you could still have Tommy in your life. That's what? Ron is his lovable Aunt Marcy? That would be great. Well, if you don't go back, you're gonna end up in prison. Yeah, but you know what? They have to catch me first. You wrote a book. It's not like you're under the radar, you know? Thank you. Thank you for worrying about me. Thank you for everything that you have done. But I cannot turn my son over to Todd Manny. You're not helping, Manny. I'm hoping you are. My son is on a run with some lunatic woman, and the best you've done is set up a command post in her husband's hotel room. I'm not going to discuss police procedure with you. You know, he's probably telling her everything you guys are doing. Oh, yeah, that's the truth. Michael's doing everything he can to help us. And I can assure you that we will get Marcy and your son back safely. Now, come on, Marcy, would sooner drive that car into a tree with my son in the back seat than give him up to me. No. She would never do that. She would never hurt him. What do you call what she's doing to him now, Michael? All right, so you guys are just going to sit here and scratch your heads while my brother lost you. I think you should go home and wait for word. Commissioner. Yeah. Possible hit on a car matching Mrs. McVeigh's. Where? 
Used car dealership outside Buffalo. Try to get in early today. Buffalo, tell you she was going to Canada. Get the VIN number.